Hello there. It was a hot and sunny day on Wednesday. Temperatures reached 32.6 degrees Celsius at London's Heathrow Airport, making it the hottest day of the year so far. But how does that compare with recent Junes? Well, if we go back for the last 20 years, about a third of our Junes gets to 33 or even hotter than that. And we have seen some pretty hot Junes recently. Back in 2017, temperatures peaked at 35 degrees Celsius. Now we have got more of that hot, sunny, humid weather to come on Thursday, a bit more widespread as well. But after that, we're going to start to see some big thundery downpours break out. And these have the potential to bring some flooding issues. Now, for most of us on Thursday, start off on a dry and bright note with lots of morning sunshine, maybe a few fog patches around some of our coastal areas. There may be a few showers forming through the afternoon across the high ground in Scotland, drifting northwards with time. But for the vast majority of us, it's hot, it's sunny and it's humid. Higher temperatures for Northern Ireland, 24 in Belfast and 28 in Glasgow. But the highest temperatures across the south, well, we'll see temperatures probably peaking at around 33 degrees Celsius. And then we'll start to see some storms break out across the south and west of the UK. It will be another very warm night for sleeping. These are the kind of temperatures as you're perhaps going to bed. 23 in Liverpool, Birmingham and London, making for an uncomfortable night's sleep. And then there are those thunderstorms that might wake you up as well. Those storms, as we head into Friday, will continue to drive the way northeastwards. So some of them could still be pretty intense. Into the afternoon, we start to get some fresher Atlantic air moving into western parts. So a fresher feel to the weather with lower temperatures in the west. But it'll still be hot and humid in the east with temperatures potentially still reaching the low 30s. Friday night sees more of those storms driving the way north and eastwards. So some of them, again, could be pretty lively for a time. And then more general outbreaks of rain working into the west later in the night. Now, as far as the amount of rain we're likely to see with these storms, through Thursday night, Friday and Friday night, some of them could bring 30 to 50 millimetres of rain. That's over half a month's worth of rain falling in a short space of time, hence the risk of flooding. But the amount of rain that we get in place to place will be quite variable.